Hey YouTube, so um, I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, me playing with the Xserve. I'm currently putting ESXi on it. Um, this is 6.0. Um, someone said that it would work out of the box, um, so hopefully that's true. Um, it's just loading up now. Um, and so yeah, we have ESXi 6.0 installed. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, two CPUs, I don't know what they are yet. Um, a each, uh, two onboard NICs and two, uh, uh, another two on a like card. Um, so it's a pretty healthy server. Um, I only have a free license for ESXi, otherwise I'd use it for my main, um, like instead of my Proxmox. But um, I figure it'll be fun to play around with because, uh, yeah, I'd like to use it a bit. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you when uh, the install fi installer finishes loading. So the installer's just loaded up and it gives us a uh, good idea of the actual hardware. Um, this is a 2.1x serve. Um, it's got two E5462s at 2.8 gigahertz. Not sure the core count on those yet. And 16 gigabytes of DDR2. Um, so that's quite well kitted out server. Depends on the core count obviously. Um, but yeah, and then obviously three disks in the front. Um, this will be quite a nice machine. So installing ESXi is a pretty simple process. Um, it's just go through the steps, you know, select your hard disk, um, then like, you know, select a password for it, and then it just, uh, that's where I'm at. Um, if I remember right, yeah, it's just really simple. Um, so I'll do that, and then I'll get back to you when the web interfaces are up. So I lied, not the web interface. Um, I've got to set up the network um, to do this uh, so I'll set up all this and then I'll get back to you but so far ESXi has been pretty uh, easy to install hardest part was uh, the waiting for it to copy off the USB stick so after some trouble with the uh, network adapters um, I had it on the wrong adapter for the main one um, I've got the page for it but um, apparently 6.0 is uh, not the one. Oh, whoops. Uh, not the one with uh, the web GUI. That's 6.5. Um, uh, so yeah, it, uh, they've got a like downloading. It's a download thing you download, and it um, and it does it. Um, which I actually kind of prefer. It uh, works better in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I'll just, I'll download that and, uh, um, and then, uh, set it up and I'll show you the, uh, ESXi. So I've just got the client running, um, once you install it, it gives you an error like, um, watch out, your license expires in 60 days, which is fine, I've got a license I can put on it, um, but yeah, it's, uh, got, like, all your... Resource allocation, uh, resource allocations, your virtual machines, like the whole, the whole deal with the ESXi um thing. So uh, yeah, so it's got all the, uh, got some sensors or whatever events, um, permissions. Yeah, so um, it'll be fun to play around with the ESXi again. Um. And so I'll probably do some videos on this. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, quick like install kind of of ESXi on my XServe 2.1. Um, surprisingly enough you can run 6 on it, um, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, uh, leave a like, uh, so I know, um, what kind of videos you like, uh, there, I'm, like, uh, I'm going to do, um, probably a series on, uh, like, PFSense basics, so I'll reinstall, like, PFSense on this, and go through, like, all the basics of setting everything up, and then maybe some extras or whatever, and I'm thinking about doing one for Proxmox as well, I'm also gonna, um, coming up as some videos for, uh, like, my software in my labs, I'm gonna do some tutorials on those, so, uh, Thanks for watching YouTube, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, um, and see you next time.